So today we're going to learn about green sheets. And green sheets are a way that we can communicate the information about the transaction and how we get paid to the market center administrator. The green sheet should be completed after attorney review and after your inspections are complete. So usually about two weeks after you have a contract. And I'm gonna teach you today how to complete a green sheet through your dot loop. So log into your MyKW account and go to My Transactions. Open up your dot loop. I'm going to go to my loop, which is a transaction that I have in progress at Woodland Avenue, South Plainfield. Then I'm going to go to the View Details page. So I wanna make sure that everything that is in the details page is all set and ready to go into my green sheet. So check to make sure that your loop status is under contract. The people involved in the transaction are in fact listed. Wanna make sure that your property address is accurate. Your financials, which would include your purchase price. You can include the sale commission. And then include the MLS fees. And then buy side. <clears throat> Okay. Your contract dates, which would, the most important date would be your closing date so that the office will have an educated guess about when that income is coming into the building. If you have a referral on this particular transaction, you would want to enter the referral percentage and the referral source right here. The listing information, just check to see if that's accurate. Geographic ed information and the property again the year built i believe this was 1940. okay always save when you're at the bottom of this page and you're going to go all the way back up to the top and right here is where it says submit to green sheet just click on that and you see how it says pop-up blocked up here, so we're going to allow pop-ups. Let's try that again. Let's refresh the page. And now it says submit to green sheet. Try this one more time. And you see it opens up another tab on the top of your screen. So it goes right over to the green sheet. Now, the most important information is that you're going to add or fill in everything that is pink. So the contract date for this particular property was 914. This transaction is a seller side. So I sold this listing and you're going to select the correct drop down. The listing source, this happens to be a previous client. And then the property is a resale. So if you're selling any house that is not a new construction or a, a, proper, a lot, you're selling a resale. <clears throat> so it happens to be in the Mammoth MLS and Middlesex MLS. If you wanted to add the numbers in here, you could. Go to the next section. Now, this is where sometimes people get confused. You have a sale price. I am receiving a percentage for this particular property. and It will automatically fill in the actual amount once you tab through the percentage percent number. So it automatically says that $7,625 would be the commission and go to the next section. The buyer's name is here because it was in the details page of your dot loop. Next section, the seller. 
the seller. I'm not sure why that didn't come through. Joe Pareto is actually the executor. And the agent detail page can break this down. If you have multiple agents involved in this transaction, you would add them by adding each agent A, B, and C. However, I am the single agent on this particular property. My agent role is individual agent. The type of property is a listing. The agency is seller. You see the listing unit box is actually open and ready to be filled in because I am working on the seller's side. It recognizes that. So I put one unit. As you continue down, the only other thing that you would want to put in here is your bonus structure. Now, if you are receiving an MLS fee as a listing agent, you would want to add that fee in here. And my fee for this property is $50. And a 100% to the agent is what you would like to choose. The other option is split with the market center, but we don't split the MLS fees. This agent commission is the split with the office, 70%. In here, you can choose to be generous and charitable and um, put money into these fields. And it would have to be a actual, an actual number. A numeric value has to go in here. So uh, once you uh, put a number in here and it's taken out of your commission, you will get a 1099 for the money that you actually um, offer to the charitable donations. Transaction fee, put $25 into your transaction fee, and your MLS deduction is zero because as a listing agent, I'm not deducting that. And then you go to your next section, co-broker. So the co-broker here, Okay, next section, your vendors, your buyer's attorney, mortgage company, if you remember it. I have to check on Catherine's last name. Okay, next section. If there are any notes, anything odd about this particular uh, transaction that you would like the office to know, if there is a referral on this transaction, you would want to add it here. And if not, and everything is good, you can submit to your MCA right from here. And you click the box, Submit Green Sheet. And that's it. Your green sheet is done. Have a great day.